Hi everyone, Tarun here from Deep Thought. So in this video, I'm going to talk about this data champion opportunity. What is this opportunity about? What is the selection process and what would the hired candidate do? But before that, a very quick roundup of Deep Thought. So Deep Thought is an organization which has been nurturing young leaders. So we call our uh, hires as student unicorns, youngsters who are rare, youngsters who are highly scalable, youngsters who are highly scalable. What I mean is, Somebody who starts off as an intern, but grows into a leadership capability a lot faster. Now, these are individuals who are rebels, who don't like to fit into the society as usual, who like to do creative things, right? So this is the kind of youngsters we work with. These are the kind of individuals we like working with. And we've traditionally been recruiting a lot through Internshala because we've seen that at least a 1% of the applicants in Internshala have this quality of wanting to learn, wanting to grow. Right. So now coming to this particular role of data champion, there is an organization called Unique Biotech, which is India's largest manufacturer of probiotics. So uh, Unique Biotech has been growing at a very impressive uh, component annual growth rate because the demand for probiotics globally is fantastic. And Unique Biotech operates in more than 50 countries globally right now. So there's a need for a massive data transformation at uh, Unique Biotech in the sense that uh, since there's a lot of growth, uh, we've, we've hired a few data scientists who've come up with systems, who've set up data systems to improve the plant production capabilities to reduce the turnaround time between when you receive the order and when you deliver the order and so on. So while that's going nice, uh, we've also set up a good market research team, which is scraping out market data from various sources from Amazon and different places. We're trying to understand the trends of you know the demand around probiotics. So while we're doing a lot of interesting work to understand the demand and match the supply with the uh, demand, now there's a need to bring in a data champion who will help us, uh, you know, close this entire loop. So we like, we're looking to hire a youngster with leadership capabilities, with the right personality traits, who can A, look at the various data coming in from the factory, from the MR team and so on. And drive data driven uh, you know decision making within the sales team of unique biotech because what we know is this is the right time to be in probiotics it's all about growth in probiotics right now so if we are able to spot the market trends prioritize the countries uh, to go into and also go into the micro level that is look at what emails are we sending what messages are we sending which is uh, showing a greater impact and are we looking at the cultural nuances that People in uh, La Latin America, what kind of language do they prefer? People in Europe, what kind of language do they prefer? So in our emails, are we you know, using that? So from a data lens, if we were to look at the entire organization and see if the communication is streamlined, if the outreach is streamlined. So see, one way is to manually go micromanage and see if everything is being done or not. But another way is, you know, you view everything through the lens of data. For example, uh, in sales, one very important idea is follow-up. So one way is to manually check if the follow-ups are done or not done. But what we've been doing is again, create dashboards for follow-up. So the idea is we create a process and say, hey, this is the process we're following for this month or this is the process we're following for this quarter. And against every process that we create, against every process that we create, we are creating a dashboard, a dashboard through which we track the compliance to this particular uh, process. So typically, this is not a role to be done by a fresher or to be done by an average employee. This is a strategic role because it's about laying out. Uh, I wouldn't even call it a data strategy, but a growth strategy where we figure out, okay, this is what we need to do to grow as a company. These are the steps we're doing to grow as a company and then uh, figure out, uh, you know, approaches of data collection, data visualization so that you empower the leaders within the company to check if that process is being followed or not followed. And it also involves a lot of curiosity to check what's working, what's the call to action in each message. So when we measure the call to action under each message, we would understand which kind of call to action is showing uh, greater results and so on. So I think it, I mean, I, I can go on and on around this, but all I would say is if there's a candidate with the curiosity, the candidate would pick it up. So now a question which would come up is, why are you hiring a fresher for this role? The answer is straightforward. We want to hire somebody who's young, who comes with a clean slate, who does not come with the societal conditioning, someone who doesn't come with the societal conditioning, someone who's 
an absolute sponge who can pick up things and learn and who's ambitious, who's got a vision. I mean, when I talk to candidates, many of them tell me my job, goal in life is I want to be a business analyst. I want to be settled down and so on. So those kind of individuals, of course, don't uh, fit into this kind of a role. But somebody who's ambitious, somebody who wants to contribute, who wants to do bigger things and who's got a learning drive. The vision we have for this candidate is, you know, maybe in the initial three months, the person is more of getting inputs, getting feedback from me, the growth advisor and the chief marketing officer of the company and starts, you know, following the instructions or maybe starts implementing through feedback. And from the fourth month, I see this person being able to contribute ideas, being able to figure out a lot of things by self. So, and by year two, I see that the person can be directly involved in strategic decision-making uh, of, you know, the company in terms of the sales front, right? In terms of how do you lay a data-driven strategy? I mean, I could either hire a normal employee who's going to be yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir, or I could hire someone who's unique, who's got that, you know, leadership pedigree. So that's what we're looking for. Now, let me simplify this for you. How do you know if you're a good fit for this particular role? Point number one, are you pro status quo or anti status quo? Pro status quo as in if your goal is to do a job that will impress your family, that will impress your friends, that will impress your college, this role is not meant for you. We need people who are anti status quo because when you make a strategy to succeed in this particular role, you may have to go help people understand that what they're doing right now may not be the best thing for the company. The data points otherwise. You may have to go against the norm. So for innovation, we have to challenge what is already out there. So unless you have that personality where you're trying to improve things, where you're not happy with what is already there, unless you have that personality where you're not already happy with what is already there, it would be extremely difficult to uh, you know, do justice to this role. But if you say, no, I'm a rebel. I like doing new things. I get into trouble quite often doing things, but I'm a friendly guy. That's awesome. That's the personality we're looking for. Somebody who enjoys working with people and yet at the same time always tries to do something new with people. And the reason why I'm saying impressing your family or, uh, you know, being the Kulka Deepak and all of that, why that would not help in this role is, see, look, this involves a lot of risk taking. There's a counterintuitive path. So we don't want someone who will come for validation. I don't want, you know, this job to be a certificate to a person that you're a good fellow. I want the person to uh, not go by these external rewards, but go by that sheer inner motivation of wanting to do something, that bug of innovation, right? That bug of innovation, ki mujhe kuch karna hai. and somebody who's, who has got good business acumen, who's been reading a lot of books till now, I think makes a good fit for this particular role because uh, the way things work in this role is a lot of business problems are thrown at you. Somebody might just say, hey, we're looking at Bacillus Coagulans. Maybe Bacillus Coagulans is doing really well in Europe. So can you get me the demand insights of Bacillus Coagulans in Europe, maybe from e-commerce portals? So a traditional person who's gone to a normal school or a normal college who's never read books, who's never attended events, who's never got exposure will probably struggle with problems like this. But if you are that person who enjoys reading stuff, enjoys solving problems, I'm sure you would love to come to office every day because you get new problems every day. You are like the FBI for the organization. You are like the Chanakya for the organization where people are thinking of an idea. They ask you and you're like, okay, no worries. And then you take a couple of days, dig up all the data and then come up with a report saying, okay, your idea is correct. But then only in Germany, this is working. In Italy, it is not working. In Hungary, it's working. And so on. You'll have data-driven insights to uh, share with the team in terms of what's working, what's not working. But for that, comprehension is very important. Comprehension means the ability to understand what is being explained. Now in the selection process, I, I think a very critical part of the selection process is the TOEFL style comprehension test that we've come up with. We call it TOEFL style. because It's kind of like uh, that, right? The intent is similar. So we're giving you a couple of videos. Both the videos are hour long. So I've seen that a few people uh, cheat. They are not honest. They don't go through the entire video. So they get rejected, of course. Uh, but we're looking at people who can, I mean, who develop interest in listening to those videos, not those who listen to the video because we are asking you to listen, not those who are listening because we are asking you to listen, but those who find those videos fun, who are like, wow, 
this video is introducing me to a lot of concepts this video is introducing me to a lot of concepts which are crucial to my life okay my belief system the way i look at life my belief system itself has fundamentally changed because of this video so if you are one of those individuals who feels like my life is transformed with the videos i think it's a strong sign that we're looking for you and uh there are questions based on the video and again i probe a lot of questions some people would be like, why is this fellow asking me this question? This fellow must be stupid to ask me these questions. Again, if you don't see how these questions are relevant to this role of data champion, I would say this role may not be meant for you. You may want to look out for other interesting opportunities on Internshala. But if you're enjoying this and you're able to see that, look, this role is all about three things. This role is all about three things. One is how well do you comprehend business problems? How well do you comprehend business problems? What do I mean by it? So as I said, that bacillus coagulans thing, right? Or if, if somebody says that, hey, this company is into a lot of probiotics, from which country is this guy importing it? From whom is this guy importing it? Somehow you have to find the answer. There are ways to find that answer. So then you ask, okay, what, what's the supplier good at? So if we have to go and pitch our services to them, what do we pitch? Because the person is already buying from someone else. So this is a question. Now, the ability to comprehend this question, understand this question, is very important because only when you understand the real world problem, then you'll know how to go make the decision. Then you might ask, why is that in the other job roles, this is not stressed? Because in the other job roles, there is some strategy level person, some senior person who makes that strategy. Then there is some manager who's told this is the strategy, do it. Then the fresher is told by the manager, go do this. So it's like the fresher is at a very safe distance from decision making. The fresher is very far away from decision making. It's like decision making is in Delhi. The manager uh, is in Bangalore and you're sitting in Bangalore. I repeat, the decision maker is in Delhi making a decision. The manager is in Bangalore. From Delhi, the decision has gone to Bangalore and you're sitting in Bangalore and the manager from Bangalore is telling the fellow in Bangalore, okay, do this. So you're far away from the decision making. But here, you're a part of the team. You're nurtured. You're nurtured to be the decision maker because that's what DT's mission is. We have convinced this organization that youngsters can do it. And few youngsters like Omkar Nikam are doing fantastic work with Unique Biotech. We hired Omkar, I think, last September. And now he has built the systems through which this organization can grow at a good pace. Because when you're growing very fast, you're, unless your systems are strong, you won't be able to maintain the same quality at scale. Which is why some companies which are very good when they're small, suddenly their quality falls down when they scale. So how do we ensure that the quality is still intact after scaling? Omkar Nikam built a system. Now, is this what you expect out of a fresher? Maybe not. Or the two students who are still in second year of BTEC, they are the ones who have done the complete market research and have got the data of around 50 countries to see what are the probiotic trends in 50 countries. Two students in BTEC second year are doing that in the market research team. So this is what DT is about. We like working with those youngsters who are the 1%. So I think on intern, Shala, we've sent that 10 traits of what kind of uh, qualities we look for. Uh, if you're somebody who likes to spend a lot of money on cosmetics or lavish goods and all of that, probably there'll be a lot of friction between your value system and our value system. But if you're a simple person, not without many materialistic needs, you're somebody who's driven by problem solving, you want to help people. It's not about you, but it's about people. You have that excitement towards helping people. I think your personality trait will work. Now, again, going back, what are the three things I said? One is comprehension. And, uh, you know, being able to understand the business problems is the second one. First one. Second one is uh, having the programming abilities where you're able to write scrapers, get the data. This is not that important. It's okay if you don't know. We can teach you that. We can teach you that because I feel it's hardly take, going to take one to two months to teach somebody, you know, Python scraping, a bit of Selenium and so on. And uh, HubSpot CRM, how does it work? Hardly takes like two or three days uh, to learn. So the second part is but what we can't teach is, I think, the logical thinking and the ability to analyze problems through data, right? So on Google Sheets, you'd probably have to write custom functions and run those custom functions for analyzing data. So the way you analyze data, I think, is the second thing, which is very important. The first one is how you understand real world problems, the comprehension. And uh, the third part is how you influence people. Because you've made a strategy, all right. But people will have their own concerns because people have been using something and that something has been working for them over a period of time. So, you know, all of us have some challenges in uh, adopting a new idea. So uh, that's where you need a data champion who can work with people, who can passionately sit with people, answer out all their questions, slowly nudge them 
not force them not do it in an authoritative way but in a friendly and collaborative way have a constructive dialogue to influence people so that is where again that helping nature and all of these things are important because we anyway train the candidate on interpersonal skills we train you on soft skills in terms of how do you uh you know some of persist how do you influence people how do you get your job done so i'm sure for freshers this can be very tricky in a work environment how do you go about all of this but this will be taught but there are certain things which can't be taught those certain things which can't be taught are the skills which were required in 18th century are the skills which are required in 21st century are the skills which will be required in 30th century also these are skills of early man the tribal man how to deal with people how to communicate how to handle your emotions how to face pressure right how to enjoy your work seeing a purpose in work these are adimanav skills so we are looking for people with those adimanav skills because that's something which is very difficult to train because at birth you have them but the societal conditioning sort of takes it away so to cut the long story short two points is what i would want to say point number 1 if you are a creative rebel you like coming up with lot of ideas and you want to have that freedom to do something of your own you do you want to be unique you don't want to do what every tom dick and harry does that is when this role is for you and the second point i would like to say is this comprehension uh, assessment is going to be very important we're going to see how well you're able to understand various messages various videos and resources we're throwing at you because we want to see if you're a sponge because if you're a sponge i am very confident of my mentoring capabilities because we've mentored a lot of youngsters till now all we want to be confident is about your sponginess ki are you able to pick up things pick up things not just on the knowledge front but also on the emotional front how can you i mean are you flexible with your personality are you willing to change some aspects of your personality and are you willing to change it for the right reasons so i think if i have to conclude this entire video in two words i would say are you doing this for the right reasons you know what those right reasons are if you're doing it to some you know somewhere in your mind you know this is not right and you're still doing it we'll make it out as experienced recruiters i think that's the competency we possess but if you're doing it for the honest reasons you want to be creative you want to make a positive difference to the world you're exploring you're reading about unique biotech you're reading about deep thought you're investigating various things then yes out of the 2000 applications we got you are probably that one person we are looking for so go ahead complete the selection process i am super keen on nurturing one young leader for india and i'm sure this would be a amazing role model story to say that a fresher was able to go out uh drive the growth of this company by understanding the various problems coming in from the sales team building data systems for investigating all those problems coming up with a data driven strategy and also influencing people and getting all the people on board being a mahindra singh dhoni and inspiring everyone getting all the people on board to adopt the data strategy yes this can be done by a 21 22 year old this can be done by somebody who's younger than 30 and that's something deep thought believes in and we are scouting for that one youngster who can be that amazing story by 2025 so yeah in case you find this role exciting the selection process link has been given to you go ahead and attempt the selection process right thanks a lot for listening to me patiently have a nice day